All right, so it, soon, it seems a lot of people have uh, questions why Eric B. Enemy is not uh, um, is not a head coach, and it's a lateral move on uh, him being the offensive coordinator uh, of the Washington football team or the commanders. Excuse me, I like the football team better. Um, it's a reason why. Eric B. Enemy isn't um, a head coach, right? Uh, criminal records. Um, you know he has some some criminal records going. You know going back even post playing days. Uh, and then Lashawn McCoy. I'm pretty sure his comments from another black player didn't didn't help. So let's kind of dig into this real quick. Check out the NFL playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. So it's always a why. You know, it ain't always, oh, because he black. And I got a lot to do with it with white owners not being able to um, sympathize or be able to relate with black people because not a lot of black people was able to go to their school. And the type of black people that they went to school with, they really don't have a demographic background of uh they really don't have a demographic background of uh of of the, you know of the ones where every enemy come from or you know they pretty much just, they pretty much grew up just like um the wealthy owners but it says chiefs owner oc eric enemy's trouble and rapture includes disturbing assault charge against one now i don't know about that one all right um but uh but he got in trouble, you know, so, uh, so, uh, we can get into it. So he, he got to, you know, as at the player, he got into some trouble, bro. So, you, you know, you know, in 1998, according to the South Florida Sun Sentinel, Colorado police arrested the enemy and teammate Cannabis McGee after a bar fight. The enemy was charged with disorderly conduct, fighting in public. But he played no contest. He and McGee received a deferred sentence before in court man to community service. You know, so this is going to as a you know as a player in Colorado. In 90, Orlando Sentinel, the enemy played no contest after allegedly shoving a firefighter. The University of Colorado Boulder suspended the enemy for one game in the upcoming season. In 1993, Colorado police arrested the enemy. Then in the NFL, the Orlando Sentinel reports the enemy allegedly grabbed a female parking attendant by the neck and threatened her allegedly um university of colorado banned the enemy from his campus for one year as a result in 2001 according to the daily Bron, um uh, bruin excuse me colorado police arrested the enemy on a dui charge three months after rejoining the football staff at the running back coach he previously had his driver's license suspended after numerous violations the enemy was also linked to allege that college fo uh, colorado's football program used alcohol and sex to lure recruits it's been reported in 2004. The university discovered there was evidence of drugs and alcohol being used to entice recruits, but no university official were uh, guilty of misconduct. So, the enemy left Colorado after 2002 season to take the same position at UCLA. So, you just see, man, um, when you in the position that that you know that he in, bro, and you got the demographic that he got, you know, it's already an uphill battle to get these jobs. So when you when you got a rap sheet and people can say, oh, this was so long ago and he can change, he changed me and he ain't did nothing. That don't matter to them, bro. It don't matter. They always going to hold that again over your head. They always going to hold that over your head. Even though you can say other coaches have done worse and still got jobs and still did this and still did that and blah, say this and blah, say that, that. And yes, we can point to the inconsistency, but y'all gotta understand, y'all gotta understand that uh that you you gotta be even with these coaches out there with clean backgrounds who don't get second chances, bro. It's coaches out there with set with clean backgrounds who don't get a chance. So he going for you to have that rap sheet, he gonna have to be extraordinary in Washington. Cause they not letting that go. They not letting that go. He gonna have to be extraordinary in Washington. 
he gonna have to be extraordinary, extraordinary in Washington. And and that's the reason why. So now he getting the opportunity over there. Um and uh he getting the opportunity over there in uh in the Washington. Now he gotta be great. He gotta be great at calling the play. And if he ain't, he can he can forget about he can forget about coaches, coaching. He can forget about coaching. If he go over there and be good, keep his nose clean, then he'd be good. He'd be a one. He'd be a one. But you know that's how they, that's how they uh that you know. And that's just how we go, how it go. They gonna hold that against him now, you know. Then the Sean McCoy comments didn't help, and I'm not against him getting a head coaching job. Trust me, I want him to get one. But I'm just telling y'all the reasons why. It says LaShawn McCoy explains why Eric Bieniemy isn't a head coach. Andy Reid, defense chief's offensive coordinator, and of course that's Andy's job to defend your man's. And LaShawn McCoy, um, LaShawn McCoy be talking real reckless, dog. You know, real reckless. That's just why certain people shouldn't have a microphone in front of their, in front of their face. And he wasn't, he wasn't, he was good, but he wasn't good enough to be running his mouth like he is. So it says, uh, Airbnb was one of the many candidates Bengals interviewed to I eventually hire Zach Taylor, which was the right choice. BNM has had success in Kansas City as officer coordinator for the past four seasons. There have been plenty of people around the NFL wondering why the enemy haven't got a head coaching job. I'll just explain one of the reasons why. Former All Pro running back LaShawn McCoy shared his thoughts on IM Podcast. There's a reason why every year they hype him up to get a job, and then when it comes time, nobody hires him because they know the type of coach he really is, McCoy said. Uh, you know, former star running back said the enemy is why he left Kansas City after 2009. He said the Chiefs head coach Andy Reid defended the shots by McCoy. So there you go. He told you. He gonna defend this guy, so that don't help when it's coming from another black player. Like I said, we the only people that that get in our people way and don't and don't think nothing of it. You know what I'm saying? We the only ones. We the only ones that do that. Ain't no cohesiveness, even on that grand scale. Did he have to make them comments, bro? Did he have to? Did he have to make them comments? That's all you asking. Did he have to make those those comments? I did. Uh, did he have to make those comments? We the only people that get in our way. Just 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 shut up. You ain't helping the situation. Not none. You ain't helping the situation, not none. You know, that's 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 the borderline and the definition of tap dancing. But you know, just wanted to share with y'all that information on why you know he possibly couldn't be getting a job. So check out the NFL to our playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button is the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Uh, like I said, check out the NFL playlist. You can find me everywhere in the link tree. Appreciate the love, support. Peace.